What's up, guys? So yesterday, uh, the trailer for Creed 2 dropped, and I saw it, and I was like, you know what? People have asked me about doing a reaction. So I thought, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and do a reaction for YouTube land out there. Um, you know, I would do this where I have like the screen and I got the trailer going side by side, but you know, the last This Is America video got flagged. And so, you know, until YouTube figures it out or I, you know, I get a whole bunch more subscribers or something, I don't know how this works that some people can do it, but others can't. I'm just gonna watch this right here on my trusty dusty iPad. I'm gonna give you some of my thoughts, my notes on this, um, and then kind of move forward from there. Uh, right now, I'm just gonna let you know, I'm not really feeling this one. Now this is a deal. Rocky IV, for the longest, like has been my favorite of the, I'm gonna call it the Rocky one through six series, right? Not in including Creed and Creed two now. So it's always had this special place in my heart. I got the soundtrack. Uh, I used to work out to it like when I was in high school and you know, just pretend the montage scene uh, of No Easy Way Out, still can see it in my head right now. So I, I'm, I'm really, I was really excited when, you know, I heard Creed was coming out. You know, you, you, you knew that it was kind of leading up to this where, you know, with Creed 2, we're gonna see the possibility of Ivan Drago's lineage go up with Apollo Creed's lineage. And that is really exciting to me. Uh, let's just, let's, Let's get into this trailer first. All right, so the first thing that we, we see is that, uh, you know, Adonis is knocked down. So I think that's a really interesting way that they start things off, they kick it off. Um, he's out for the count. He got, you know, the ref with the light in his face. And then we have Tessa Thompson as Bianca. Shout out to Tessa Thompson. She does like everything in her career, she does well. Um, and just kind of showing that she's got her his back. And then we kind of get into this whole Rocky. And, and honestly, like when I first saw Rock in this, like Sylvester Stallone, it really does look like if if Creed one was him giving the keys over, you know, to uh, Adonis's character, like it really feels like he's at the back of the stage sweeping right now. And he's about to just like walk off and into the sunset. But anyways, he kind of sets up the whole scene that you know, Adonis has a lot more to lose this time around, which uh, it looks like he might have had a kid now with Bianca, um, which is cool. So we're kind of setting the stakes for um, this big showdown. One thing I did love about this trailer is that it had Kendrick Lamar's loyalty in the background. Now that's a little bit on the nose, but at the same time, uh, the song is really about how within oneself, like you can be such a complex character and have so many different feelings at once. And I think that is who Adonis Creed is. He can be prideful, he can be a hothead, but at the same time, like he can be a really nice guy. Um, so the trailer kind of moves forward and basically all that we can really gain from it is he's fighting, uh, he's gonna go up much like Rocky did and Apollo did up against Drago's son. Now, the end of the trailer is the part that really kind of killed me. The <laughs> we haven't seen Drago's kid this whole entire time, uh, and when you finally do, it's it did feel a little bit reminiscent of uh, how Drago came out in Russia. Uh, there was the lights, there was everybody that was standing uh, for him, as the red, everything like that. But the part that killed me is when he actually gets in the ring. Now, this guy, I, let, let me look up real quick. Pardon me. Uh, what's his name? Florian Montanu. I hope I got that right. He has two credits to his acting history on IMDb. One of those is Creed II. Okay, he comes in, jumps in the ring, and the way that the camera frames Drago, one, it felt like Mr. Montanu might have missed his mark because the camera has to adjust to frame Drago. I would have said, cut, do it again. <laughs> because 
that is like one of the biggest thing that any of us were really waiting for is to see the reveal of Drago's kid. And you're telling me that the camera actually has to adjust to center on the name. No, that is that that honestly kind of scares me. Um, uh, who, the director is Stephen Capel Jr. And, you know, doing my research on him, um, he has done a film that seemed like it was more of an independent film that was uh, about, you know, kids that find a, a bunch of bags of drugs and they start selling it and the trouble that ensues from there. Um, so it looks like he can do, like, you know, more edgy urban material. However, uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, man, Coogler and Michael B. Jordan together, that is a dream team. Everything that they have done together has been gold. Uh, the fact that Coogler, you know, kind of stepped away as director, to me, I, uh, man, I was sad when I heard that. Um, and so, you know, just looking at it, yeah, the characters are written by Coogler and Stallone, but the screenplay is done by uh, Mr. Coker, Cheo Hodari Coker, uh, who I guess he's done Luke Cage and... Yeah, creator Luke Cage. So, you know, I don't know, folks. We'll see how this is. I, I don't know if you're feeling like me in terms of, hey, you really had high hopes for this. The film hasn't come out yet. We'll have to see another trailer. Thanksgiving, I will be with my family, hopefully in a theater, checking this film out. Let me know what your thoughts are. Right now, I'm a little bit leery, but you know, it's just the first trailer. We'll see what happens. Uh, let me know your thoughts below. Make sure that you subscribe to get more reactions as well as reviews. Head over to picturelockshow.com for more reviews and to listen to the podcast. And until next time, I hope you stay locked on film.